ओके हाई एवरी वन मई नेम इज के रमनाचारी ऐम लेक्चर इन जुलाजी टूडे टापिक इज द स्ट्रक्चर आफ हार्ट ऐक्चुअली फिजियालजी फिजियालजी मीन द डिफरेंट बॉडी फंक्शन इज कॉल दैट फिजियालजी एंड आफ्टर दैट डैजस्टिव सिस्टम कंप्लीटेड टूडे सर्कुलेट सिस्टम डिफरेंट सिस्टम डिफरेंट फंक्शनिंग डैजस्ट सिस्टम कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री फूड सब्सटें चेंज टू सिंपल अब्जॉर्शन मेटीरियल इज कॉल दैट डैजेशन डैजेशन इज ए कैमिकल प्रोसेस एंड कंप्लीटेड नेक्स्ट वन सर्कुलर सिस्टम सर्कुलर सिस्टम नेक्स्ट रेस्पिरेट सिस्टम रेस्पिरेट सिस्टम मेन इंपॉर्टेंट एनर्जी प्रोवैडर एंड एक्सचेंज ऑफ गैसेस एंड आफ्टर दैट सर्कुलर सिस्टम टूडे सर्कुलर सिस्टम सर्कुलर सिस्टम ब्लड एंड आफ्टर दैट हार्ट स्ट्रक्चर आर्टेरियस वेन्स डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ प्रेजेंट ऑफ सर्कुलर सिस्टम टूडे टॉपिक इज ओनली द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ हार्ट सर्कुलर सिस्टम मेन इंपॉर्टेंट रोल ट्रांसपोर्ट लेवल ट्रांसपोर्ट लेवल मीनस Uh, after digestion, after digestion, after digestion, food material, total transport. That is the first role. Second role, exchange of gases. Second role. Third role, main important constant our body temperature. Maintain to constant our body temperature. Fourth role, protection. Protection role means WBC cells, our immune system. This one is totally heart structure. <coughs> totally four chambers: uh, left atrium, <coughs> left ventricle. right atrium right ventricle next <coughs> okay heart this is the heart structure actually our human body system triploblastic animal triploblastic animals means how many layers are present three layers ectoderm mesoderm endoderm ectoderm our nerve system skin system derived from ectoderm heart structure derived from mesoderm heart and bones muscles and kidney structure internal organs difference are derived from endoderm it is derived from mesoderm heart heart is a uh, heart derived from mesoderm the heart is a roughly cone shaped hollow muscular organ muscular structure actual say muscles three parts skeletal muscles smooth muscles cardiac muscles this one is main important uh, muscular organ next one that is responsible for pumping blood throw out the blood vessels by repeated rhythmic contraction our uh, totally I mean, embryo one month started to end up time totally rhythmic contractions uh, totally systole and diastole and the term cardiac means related to the uh, cardia means heart this is the uh, greek word derived from greek word and uh, this is the heart next one the human heart the human heart the heart is the heart is a muscular organ located between the lungs in the central of the chest and thorax and and is about the size of a fist this is the uh, heart heart mainly weight for example our liver is 1.5 kg our heart structure 300 grams our kidney 120 to 170 gram measurements also very important it pumps the blood uh, continuously around at the body it pumps blood around the body at different uh, speeds and pressure according to the body's need needs totally different uh, uh, rhythmic uh, contractions next it is uh, divided into two halves left and right each of uh, act as a separate pump different pumps for example left side oxygenated blood right side deoxygenated plate next this is the like a heart structure this one is uh, four chambers next one cardiac heart chambers cardiac heart chambers the heart is divided by a septum into two halves and two halves are in turn divided into four chambers the upper chambers are called the left and right left side and right side uh, atria and the lower chambers are the called the left and right ventricles atria and ventricles the left ventricles is the largest the left ventricle is the largest and strongest chamber in heart and after that the left ventricles chamber walls are only about a half inch thick but they have you know force to push blood through the aortic valves and into your 
body. This is the total if four chambers are present. Different left atrium, left ventricle, right atrium, right ventricles. And uh, uh, ventricles uh, separated some total atrium ventricles separated atrio ventricular septum. Left atrium, left ventricle separated atrio atrial uh, septum. This is the inter inter ventricular septum. Next one. The chambers, the chambers of the heart, totally heart four chambers is clearly, this is the right atrium, this one is right ventricle, this one is left atrium, this one is left ventricle. Totally, uh, ventricles suffer atrium and ventricles separated atrial ventricular septum. Next. This is the anatomy, heart diagram. Uh, internal structure actually external structure of heart internal structure of heart and actually heart main important three layers are present pericardium myocardium endocardium that, that layers between some fluid cardiac fluid is also present what is the important cardiac fluid protection uh, protection uh, different shocks pressures injuries our cerebral fluid in brain system this is the protection this is the cardiac fluid protection heart this is the very important pulmonary artery, pulmonary vein. Actually, uh, pulmonary vein. Vein may indicate deoxygenated blood, but pulmonary vein, vein oxygenated blood. And next one, um, pulmonary, uh, pulmonary artery. Pulmonary artery main important role, uh, the oxygenated blood, but pulmonary vein, uh, artery deoxygenated blood. These are different issues. Iota, largest artery, superior vena cava, right atrium, tricapsid valve, pulmonary valve, and right ventricle, and septums, different septums are present. Next one, structure of the heart. Structure of the heart, main important, three parts. The heart is composed of three layers of tissue. This is the heart uh, is uh, one of the connective tissue. Uh, actually, blood is a connective, connective tissue. Epithelial tissue. tissue. Connective tissue, muscular tissue, and uh, totally nerve tissue. This is the one of the connective tissue. Okay, pericardium, myocardium, endocardium. Pericardium, outer layer. Myocardium, middle layer. Endocardium, inner layer. Next. This pericardium information. The pericardium is a triple layered fluid. And after that, filled sac that surrounds the heart this is the pericardium main protection role and the outer layer of this sac is the fibrous pericardium it is a uh, strong layer of the connective tissue strong layer uh, outer layer this one next one it uh, others to the depart, uh, diaphragm inferior and the superiorly it is uh, fossil to the roots of the great vessels that lives and enter the heart. This is the information pericardium. Next one, myocardium. The main important myocardium, the myocardium is the basic muscle that makes up the heart. This muscle is involuntary, involuntary muscles. Muscles mean uh, this myocardium involuntary muscles. Uh, and uncontrolled. Voluntary means controlled. Involuntary, uncontrolled. Uncontrolled muscles also present. The cardiac muscle structure consists of basic unit of cardiac muscle cells known as myocytes. Then main important the cells are myocytes also present. And next one, endocardium. Inner layer of the muscle. The endocardium is the in, innermost thin and smooth layer of epithelial tissue that lines the inner surface of all the heart chambers and valves. This is the different type of layers, pericardium, myocardium, endocardium. The heart is a hollow organ divided into four chambers. Number one is right atrium, right ventricle, left atrium, left ventricles. These are four chambers. Four chamber divided. This one is left atrium, oxygenated blood and left ventricles. This is the totally receiving pulmonary vein. Pulmonary vein. And after that, this one is deoxygenated blood, right atrium, right ventricle. This is the structure, four chamber of the heart. 
some information right atrium the right atrium is a broad triangular structure triangular structure and the superior vena cava opens into dome of dome of 2 minutes dome of right atrium and the inferior vena cava into its lower posterior part the right atrium is a thin walled chamber that receives the blood uh, returning from the body tissues next right ventricles the right ventricles extended from the right and right atrio ventricular orifice nearly to the cardiac apex it then reaching the pulmonary um, orifice and sub, uh, supporting the uh, casps of the pulmonary valves next left atrium information left atrium means mainly all those small in the volume then the right uh, the left atrium has thicker walls uh, totally 3 mm on a average this is the left atrium and left ventricle main important the left ventricle is constructed in a uh, accordance with its role as a powerful pump its cavity is oral or nearly circular with walls about 3 times thicker 8 to 12 mm then those of the right ventricles next and uh, cardiac heart valves different valves also present the tricapsid uh, valve and pulmonary valve and the mitral valve and the aortic valves very important role cardiac heart valves next this is the main important right hand side left hand side this is the uh, left side this one is the right side deoxygenated blood returns to the right side of the heart via the vena cava and deoxygenated blood is pumped to the lungs via the pulmonary artery this is the right side main left side the left side of the heart received oxygenated blood from the lungs via the pulmonary veins the left side of the heart pumps oxygenated blood out into the blood anti uh, arteries via the aorta this is the totally circular system next video will con continue the function of heart detail study next 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 this is the main important aorta it is the largest artery and carries oxygenated blood from the heart to the rest of the body and superior vena cava deoxygenated blood from the upper part of the body return to the heart through uh, through the superior vena cava and inferior vena cava deoxygenated blood from the lower part of the body return to the heart through the inferior vena cava next this is the different parts of pulmonary vein they carry oxygenated blood from the lungs back to the heart and pulmonary arteries they carry blood from the heart to the lungs to uh, pick up oxygen this is the okay this is the totally uh, next one last this one is different parts the two upper chambers called the atria or thin walled cavity cavities the received blood from the veins the two lower chambers called the ventricles are thick walled cavities that receive blood from the artery and the pump blood away from the heart to through the arteries the cavity of the heart is divided completely by the partition called the septum this is the totally next this is the blood supply to the heart structure next okay this is the the structure of heart next video continue detail study the function of heart thank you thank you so much